All right, everybody, welcome back. Zero here, and this is Rise of the Tomb Raider. We're gonna open up some packs today. We're gonna check out some different cards. I want to give a big shout out to my man Alex. Without him, I probably wouldn't be doing this video. Give you a little bit of history. He tried to give me a cool code, a free code. Really appreciate it to open up a pack from the Pringles cans. I guess they were doing some kind of a, a deal. You buy some Pringles, you get a hard pack. Well, I put in the code, it said that I took it, the Valiant Explorer, but for some reason, it's not updating. It's not showing it in the gift bag. Um, it does show that I have redeemed the code, but it, the, for some reason, this card pack is not popping up. So I'm going to give it a couple more days. If it does pop up, we will do another video on that pack, because I'm actually kind of interested in what they give you for it. But I told him, you listen, man, I'm sorry, for some reason, it's not working. I know you're picking up the game soon, and you got a code of your own. I hope it works for you. But uh, to make it up for you, what I'm going to do is spend this 82000 in credits on some other packs. We'll open those up right now. And i kind of been looking these over, and I could do it a couple ways. Like, you know, we got a challenge pack, 20000 wild pack, 20000 The gold pack is 60. Now, it's like, do I only want to open two packs? Do I want to do a lot of packs? I do have a decent amount of cards. I think like 40 or something now. I think there's like 150. I'm not 100% sure. There's, to tell you the truth, there's probably way more than that. Um, but I think maybe we'll do like a mix here. Let's go uh, Let's go probably like a wild pack. Let's do like three of the 20,000 packs. And then we can uh, get some bronze packs. Is that a good thing? Or, is, or are people more concerned about the gold? Man, I'm so confused. I don't know what to do. I think I'm going to stick with my original plan. Let's hit up a wild pack right off the bat. This is the strangest cards in the collection. Normally a buck ninety nine, but I have some in-game credits here just from beating the game. So let's go ahead and check them out. Yeah, I want to see what you got. All right, new cards unlocked in the wild pack. Let's go ahead and flip. The Gambler. Enemy corpses might explode when looted. I actually like that one. Might explode. That's going to add a little bit of fun to it there. Uh, Big Head Laura. All right, Big Head Laura. Now, I think we got two Big Head Lauras, so I could sell some of these and get some credits back. Maybe buy some more cards. All right, Chicken Bomb. Definitely got the Chicken Bomb already. Backfire. Enemies that land a melee attack have a chance of bursting in flame. Now, I do believe I have this card, but this is a really cool card to put on it's an advantage card and i mean that i think that would be pretty sweet like if they do get close to you now i guess it depends on what is the chance right uh, if it's like a five percent chance then you probably won't see it that often normally you gun people down they don't even get to you all right and the pyromaniac gain unlimited fire arrows but less total health now if that was a unlimited poison arrow i would be all about it so all right let's head back wild pack Pretty good. Not too uh, not too bad. Let's see. Let's go ahead and uh, should we do the adventure or the challenge? I think the well, the advantage. Let's go ahead and do the advantage because anything to help you out, especially doing that new mode, would be pretty cool. I definitely want to put up some videos for that too. I'm really excited to do the DLC in this, but I, I was kind of waiting for the Baba Yada Witch to come out. I'm, I really want to get into that. All right, so railgun. Bullets pass through enemies. Perfect. That is awesome. So the railgun, that is an awesome one. So all of these cards are going to be beneficial cards. Make your game a little bit easier. The special magazines. Increased carrying capacity for special ammunition. All right, pretty cool. So you can get those fire shotgun shells. Rifle Mastery. Equip Rifle has all upgrades. Oh, man, right from the start, just all the upgrades. Sharpshooter. Gain a bonus. Special ammo when headshot kills. Uh, and that's pretty sweet because there's nothing better than stealth in this game through doing headshots. Especially those linked headshots. All right, and the Pistol Mastery. Equip Pistol is fully upgraded. Oh, man. I, I forget. I think you get, like, five cards that you can equip. So if you could do, like, all the Masteries and just have full-out guns, maybe... Okay, so we got 42,000 left. Uh, the gold pack is off the table, so we're not going to be able to get that. So let's go ahead and do a challenge pack. Make the game more challenging. Oh, come on. Let's hopefully get a good one. Let's get a good one. All right, faster bandaging and passive healing, but enemies take significantly less damage. So that's pretty cool. I, I like that. 
Maybe waste a little bit more ammo on them. Uh, grip. Hold X to hang from ledges. Now that would be interesting. Look at how much that one's worth. 32,000. Or, or, <laughs> wow, I am way off. If it was 32,000, I would sell it immediately. 3,200. So that's a pretty good, that's an expensive car. I think that's one of the more expensive ones I've seen, actually. So. All right, uh, gold card here. Struggle. Player can neither regenerate health nor use bandages. Oh, man, now this is playing hardcore. This is a cool card. I am actually all about that card. That would make the game very interesting because I, I didn't really die a whole bunch on the playthrough, maybe like three, I think it's at four times at least, uh, but I did have to bandage up quite a bit, so... Uh, enemies take significantly less damage. All right, so that's a pretty cool one. And I don't know exactly what the percentages are yet. I haven't done a lot of challenge mode to uh, to find out. But this one's 125%, so you can obviously go over 100. All right, and uh, empty magazines. Start with no ammunition. Okay, that's, that's not bad. I mean, you're going to find ammo eventually, so that's not too bad. 20... 2,000 left uh, silver pack. Five random cards. Guaranteed one to be an uncommon. Alright. I'm good with that. Let's check them out. The illustrious silver pack. Grants a brawler, hunter, survivor, and coda. Skills. All skills. Oh, that is the rare. Tomb Raider. 6,400 coin to sell. I, I think that's probably like the that's like one of the best cards. That must be it. That's the uh, that's the rare card there. That is the uncommon. Grants all skills: hunter, brawler, and survivor, and Kodak skills. Holy, that is an amazing card. That was so well. I am so glad I picked this pack. Oh, this one's of the same style. Uh, grants assault rifle with level one upgrades. All right, that's that's pretty sweet. Um. Man, that is a good card. Wow, that is a good card. Semi-automatic pistol. Grants a semi-automatic pistol with level 1, 2, 3 upgrades and the suppressor attached. So, perfect for stealth. Alright, rifleman. Equip a rifle damage increased by 25%. And the makeshift bow, too. Grants makeshift bow with level 1 upgrades. So, I am, like, so stoked on this Tomb Raider card. That is amazing. That is amazing. So, all right, uh, back out of here. If we go into Expeditions, uh, we'll continue. Let's just pick any old thing. It doesn't really matter. Basically want to get to my cards. Add a card. Okay, so we have all the cards here. So as you can see, we do have some doubles. So I have the big head enemies. Enemies have large heads. But then look at this, I got the rare version. So it's the same card, but look at the difference in price. So 6400 we can get for selling that. 1600 So I actually just go ahead, let's sell this card. We don't need the rare version. It's the same card. And we have two of Big Head Loras. So let's sell that one. So, uh, and then I got Big Head mode for everybody. So that's pretty cool. Enemies, Laura, and then everybody. Uh, appearance. So, let's see if we have any doubles here. We got the level 1, level 2. Uh, backfire. We got two backfires. So, let's go ahead and sell one of those. This is what you guys need to do. It's kind of like Hearthstone, right? Going through, uh, sell sell our doubles so that we can buy more. Uh, okay, we have the big heads. This is, oh, this is all. So, we'll be able to just run through them real quick here and see what doubles we got. I thought I had two chickens. So I got two of the deep pockets. Get rid of those. The expedition jacket. Fast recovery. Okay, gambler. Get rid of that. I'm I don't want to go too too fast. I don't want to miss anything. You guys are probably like, hurry it up, man. Just keep going. But we already got twelve thousand. We're gonna be able to buy some more cards. We can already buy two packs of the cheap ones. Enemies are always on fire and immune to fire damage. I remember that. That is a cool card. Wouldn't that be sweet to have all the enemies chasing you down? And look at the difference in price. I could sell this and just keep the... That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sell that one and just keep the, uh, the, the common. Get that money. Making money. Uh, level 1, level 2 bow. Going through the pistol mastery. Pistol mastery. Got two of these. 
sell that. Alright, uh, shotgun, pyro. Yeah, I thought I had a couple pyros. I think I don't remember everyone, but I do kind of opening them. I remembered, hey. Alright, the remnant jacket. Uh, grants the remnant jacket in the first tier of skills. So, you can't sell these for anything, but they're very similar. Um, let's see what we got here. Equipped rifle increased by 25% damage. That's not bad. All right. Uh, oh, and look at this armor. That's pretty sweet. Okay, come on. Is there any more doubles? Here we go. Time slows down. 1,600. Oh, we are already past the 20,000. All right, card restricted. Oh, these ones we can't use with the Prophet's Tomb, but... We can still sell it, I believe. Yes, chicken bomb. Empty magazines. Two of those. Sell that. All right, and that's it. Those are all our doubles, and we went through the all category, so that is all we have left. So I got 25,000 coin. All right, Alex, we're opening one more pack of these, and I'll tell I think I had the best luck with the silver pack, so I think that's what I'm going to do again with the 20. Let's do it. Oh man, I hope I get some good ones. Alright, which one should I do first? I'm gonna go straight for the middle this time. Survivor 1 grants all tier 1 survivor skills. Alright, not too bad, not too shabby. Uh, doubles melee damage. It's also, actually, that is not a bad card, especially if you're doing like the survivor mode. Uh, okay, break action shotgun. So I don't believe I had any of the shotgun cards. Oh, and I know I don't have a Climbing Axe card, so that's a good one. Grant's first axe upgrade. Okay. All right, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. What is it? Equipped shotgun damage increased by 25%. That's my preferred weapon of the game, the shotgun. It just blew people away. I loved how they kept running into the building as their friends were getting smoked out. Uh, so these two uncommon ones, uh, they have no sale price. So I don't think I'd sell them anyway because I don't have them. But interesting. So I got 5,200 credits left. You know what? Bronze pack. There it is. Just five random freaking cards. We're doing it. We are doing it. Let's go. Iron Heart. Enemies take significantly less damage. Just skip over here. Full auto shotgun. Grants stock full auto shotgun. Now this is amazing. I, I, I want to do this with the all skills unlocked. That would be a hell of a setup. Equip shotgun is fully upgraded, and all shotgun ammo pickups are incinerary shells. Oh! Oh my gosh! Wow, that is... Those are... If you could play those together... Alright, duration of smoke clouds from smoke grenades. Extended. I don't remember using smoke grenades. Maybe those are just in the uh, survival type modes. Uh, damaging is faster, oh, bandaging is faster, and your chance to not consume resources. Okay, that's cool. That is actually cool. Though I always had enough resources in the norm. Actually, too many I couldn't pick up anymore. All right, guys, so that is it. Uh, open some card packs. I hope you guys had a good time. Um, if I do get this gift pack, uh, if it does want to come through, it, once again, it's called the Valiant Explorer Pack. So for some reason, it's just not showing up. Uh, hopefully it does. Maybe they'll update it and it will come through. And uh, then, you know, we will get to open that one. So thank you, Alex. Guys, please thank Alex for putting this video together. And uh, we will be back with some more Tomb Raider. I really want to get into this DLC. So if you enjoyed the series and you want to see more, stay with the channel. We are going to be doing the Witch DLC. I know it's coming out this month. I just don't know when. I think they're going to surprise it on us. So... Just stay tuned. As soon as it hits, I'm going to start putting it up. All right, guys. This is Zero, and I'm out.